This is my DIY truck camper power station build project that I've been working on. I'm not finished with the full video yet, but when I am, I'll put a link to it at the end of today's short video. I wanted to make a quick video to just kind of show you guys this project and give you a quick rundown of all of the things that we're building into this so that you guys can check out that full video once it's finished. I've partnered with Lee Time for this build. They provide a lot of the components that are going into this power station, like this 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This battery is Bluetooth, so I'll be able to access the app on my phone and see all of the data from the battery, which I think is pretty cool. If you guys want to check out all these Lee Time products, I'll put an affiliate link down in the video description so you guys can check them out. Let's go over really quickly some of the charging sources that we're going to have for this power station. Alternator charging is something that I wanted to build in so that if you were to build something like this and use it in a camper van or maybe a truck camper, you could easily tie in and have alternator charging. That means when you're driving down the road, you'll be able to charge up your power station pretty easily. Also, a PWM solar charge controller is something that we're building in. That way you could deploy a 100 watt solar panel and easily charge this thing up on a sunny day. Of course, we'll also have the ability to have a wall charger. This thing is going to have a port built right into the box so that you could take the unit out of a camper and take it into the house and plug it in or at a campground if there's power available you could use an extension cord and charge this up kind of like shore power i thought that would be something that would be very beneficial to have baked in to the build on the output side this thing has four usb ports and two cigarette style 12 volt sockets that'll come in handy for all kinds of 12 volt gadgets we also have a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter for 120 volt power. I wanted to make this as compact as possible, so this will mount on the outside, which will put the outlets on the front of this thing so that I can easily get to those. If you want to build your own DIY power station, be sure to check out my full build video when it's finished. When I finish that video, I will put a link to it right here. I'm glad you watched today and I hope you'll watch the full video when it's ready.